Well, it's been a very interesting couple days since we got back from North Carolina. Um, my room is a disaster currently because I had to unpack and I don't know where everything goes. Usually she does the unpacking, but it's fallen on me this time. So I've been, uh, I've been working at it, but I've also been attending to her while we hang out at the house. I have not gone back to work in the studio yet. Uh, I've dabbled a little bit with my sketch pad, but no paint has hit canvas since I returned. I spent the day on the phone with some doctor's offices. We <laughs> we came to an agreement. We're going to go see the doctor tomorrow. Uh, I went. I called to see if we can get in earlier today because my wife's leg is starting to swell and she's been getting some cramps. But seems like that's just normal for her injury. And we'll see the doctor at our scheduled time tomorrow. So we'll have more information on that soon. Until then... I've been dealing with some stress. Um, you know, money is tight. And, well, I've been posting my art, but I haven't seen a whole lot of sales lately. And I started diving into some crazy ideas to try and make money. And those never end good. You know, it's always just some stupid, foolhardy thing I do to gain some clout. And, uh, you know, make the bills that I have to make but I kind of want to lean into my business and I just want to sell a painting if I can sell one painting this month um my life would change for the better if I could sell two paintings it'd be a turn for a fantastic start to you know selling in the off season of being an artist and I know I said I was prepared for all of the responsibilities but I'm not gonna lie it, the load has been weighing on me it's pretty much just me and uh it, it's harder than I thought it was I give my wife a lot of credit for all that she does because I mean I help her where I can but now that I'm doing things where she would do uh, I'm starting to see the difficulty level uh, it comes to running a household and it, it's it's harder than I thought on the bright side though I did hear from my son he had a day at work uh, turns out someone quit over some bullshit that they were getting written up for for being insubordinate to him because he was the manager on duty. Go figure, accountability is still a thing in this country. So uh, he told me the full story. It was actually kind of comedic how this person just decided to buy a six-pack and quit their job. And I joked, well, sounds like they got a plan for the rest of the day. Funny thing is, told the story to my dad later that night. He said the same thing. Uh, so... You know, he's he's dealing with his drama down there, and I don't have to step in. It's a plus. Um, and I'm dealing with my, my emotions of him not being here. You know, walking into his room today, this morning, to bring the dog out. <clears throat> it hurt. It hurt. But I haven't cried in, like, five hours. That's, that's a start. It's usually harder in the beginning of the day, and as I get through my day, it's easier. So, um, holding on. <laughs>